Good morning, everyone. It's another beautiful Sunday morning, December 24, 2023. And it's a good day to be alive. God has been good to us. God has shown us favor. He has spirit our life to see another day. And as we think about his love today, may we continue to allow his spirit to speak to our hearts and to pull us closer to him. Now, our reading today comes to us from Philippians chapter 2, reading verses 1 to 5. And it reads, If there be therefore any consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of spirit, if any bowels and mercy, it says in verse 2, Fulfill he my joy, that he be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. Amen. Verse 3 says, Let nothing be done through strife or vain glory, but in lowliness of mind, lest each esteem other better than themselves. Verse 4 says, Look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. Verse 5 and last, it says, Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. And I say, Amen. Indeed, God is amazing. Right? And here we are reminded this morning that we need to think the way Christ would think. It says that we are to be like-minded in the way that we think. Right? The way we think about others, we need to think of them in good in a good way. We need to have pleasant thoughts towards others. We need to be loving towards one another. We need to care about each other. Right? God has shown us the same favor. God has blessed us. God has been protecting us. God care about us holistically. And so we are to look out for each other in the same way. Right? It says that we must not do anything through strife or vain glory don't do anything to to impress anybody do whatever we do because of the love of christ that is in us and because we love and care about others right so we should not do anything in order to to be recognized that is not important in fact in matthew it tells us that whatever or or right and do we should not allow our left hand to know about it. In other words, nobody needs to know about the good deeds you're doing. If they so happen to know, so be it. But you don't need to advertise, oh, you did this and you did that. God is not interested in that. And that does nobody any good. All that he's doing is magnifying self. And self, according to the word of God, must be put to death. And so, as we continue to, to look to Jesus, may we allow him to transform our thoughts, to transform our attitude, so that we can truly reflect his character to the world. Right? Because we need to show the world that Jesus Christ still lives. Right? His legacy still lives in us. What? What? And so, as we continue to, to, to present him to the world, may we present good things and not a misrepresentation of who Christ Jesus is. And I pray that as we go through today, that we'll, we'll, we will rejoice in his goodness, that we'll accept his grace, and that we will bless others in our thoughts, in our deeds, 
and everything so that at the end of the day, God can be pleased with our actions and with our lives. So may God continue to bless us and may God continue to keep us as we remain faithful in him. God bless you and have a wonderful day.